Powerlifting is fun, it's power, it's reclamation, it's hard, it's frustrating and amazing. With the deadlift, when you start pulling it, it doesn't immediately move off the floor, but you have to keep grinding and you're losing grip and your hands hurt, sometimes your hands tear, and it's harder to breathe and you feel yourself just being compressed. And you have to remember to try to keep standing even when you're shaking. But if you keep pushing, you'll be strong enough to handle it. You'll be strong enough to handle anything. And I think that's really, really important to always remember just to keep pushing, that it'll get easier over time. I guess working hard, to me at least, is when the actual work is what motivates you, when the actual work is what gets you out of bed every single day. You're not just working out because you want to get in shape. You're not just working out because you want to be in a sport. You're working out because you love it, because it motivates you, because it puts a fire under you. You know, if you have 300 pounds on your back and you're squatting, you get down into the hole, you get to the bottom of the lift, and you have to fight. You have 300 pounds in gravity pushing against you. And it feels terrible. Sometimes you will feel like you are dying. And it's no fun, but you have to keep pushing. That's what powerlifting is. It's just grinding. It's all about the grind. A lot of the times people will be surprised or they'll say, oh, you don't look like you lift weights. You don't look like you'd be a power lifter. Which I find problematic because what is a female athlete supposed to look like? And another one I get often is that men will often say, oh, so you're strong for a girl. And that always bothers me. And my favorite retort to that is, no, I'm not strong for a girl. I'm just strong. From a young age, I thought tattoos were beautiful. I thought they were a form of body art. I always wanted them. I would draw on myself through high school, which drove my mother nuts. My favorite is my strong for a girl one. Um, it's actually Princess Mononoke, who's a character from a movie. And in it, she's a wolf princess. And she's a warrior and a fighter and just a ruthless young girl. And then I'd have a uh, half sleeve of flowers that the flowers all have different meaning um, dedicated to different members of my family. I think a lot of the times people think people with tattoos are less intelligent, that they aren't successful, that they aren't serious. Um, and so I understand that in certain climates and certain spaces, I need to present in a different way. I'm a poli-sci major and a women's gender studies minor. And this semester I intern at the State House. I kind of have to present myself in a much more conservative manner at the State House, so that's why I cover them up. No piercings, no tattoos, nice hair, you know, because I want to be taken seriously and I want to be in that space and I want my voice to be heard, so those are the measures I have to take. I interned for Representative Trisha Farley Bovier because she deals with a lot of legislation that affects women. She is creating a campus safety bill and a survivor's rights bill that would help protect women from sexual assault and help victims and help survivors. And I think that's incredibly valuable. And I would really love to be involved in things like that with my life further down. You're the queen of highlighting? Hello. I'm the queen of highlighting. Excellent. I'm following suit. <laughs> I want to help women in life because I think discrimination against women is often really overlooked and I believe women aren't always told that it's okay to be powerful. I believe that women aren't taught to be powerful and I believe that we need to teach girls to take back power. I think we need to teach women that it's okay to take up space. 
Before I came into college, I struggled with my body image so incredibly much. I was incredibly insecure, and I was always fixated on taking up less space. I was always obsessed with being smaller. I thought that's what I should be. I thought that was beautiful. But once I started powerlifting, I no longer fixated on how much I weighed. I fixated on how much I could lift, and I no longer obsessed over how thin I was. I wanted to see my traps. I wanted to see my quads. I wanted to see my muscles grow. And so instead of trying to take up less space, I became more fixated on trying to take up more. And I think that's so incredibly valuable. I think that has a lot of emotional and mental implications with it. Powerlifting has definitely made me the person I am, and it's made me a powerful woman because it has shown me that it's okay to take up space, that it's okay to speak out, it's okay to be bold, it's okay to be strong. And I think there's something that translates from physical power into being able to feel confident in all of our areas of life.